Thanks, Mark. And developing news now in Groton. So we need you to evacuate. There is an issue. A scary and tense situation unfolded in Groton early this morning. A 50-year-old woman barricaded herself inside of a home on Morse Avenue, eventually surrendering to police. Kristen Anderson is now facing a number of charges and will appear in court today. Channel 3's Eva Zamara spoke with eyewitnesses who described what happened. Please come out with your hands up. They knew her name. They said who they were. That's what Joe Apicelli heard police say to his next door neighbor last night at 1130. An hour passed. The police literally had the cordoned road off, police cars everywhere, and they were coming to our houses one at a time and asking us to please, we need you to evacuate now. So when they said that, I looked at them, grabbed my cell phone and said, Rita, my sister, it's time to go. They were evacuated to Groton's municipal building where they waited for updates about what was happening. I seen a SWAT truck and everything was pitch black, so they was not trying to move with no lights and sirens. The city of Groton Police Department says they got a call shortly before midnight. The caller telling them a woman, Kristen Anderson, was inside this home on Morse Ave. She was the subject of a protective order, uh, was in the uh, uh, premises illegally. When officers got there, police say they found Anderson, a convicted felon, armed inside. But nobody fired weapons at each other and we were able to get out of there without anyone getting hurt. Chief Michael Spellman says they brought in the state police tactical unit for help. For about six hours, they negotiated with Anderson, hoping for a peaceful resolve. And cooler heads ultimately prevailed and, uh, and we could talk. And, uh, and it's refreshing when you can talk and, and, and you get a scenario where nobody gets hurt. As this was all unfolding, residents in the area were also being asked to stay inside. Roads were blocked off and two nearby schools, the Marine Science Magnet High School and Westside Middle School, had delayed openings. We did inconvenience residents in the area, but we did it for their safety and uh, we didn't want anyone to get hurt. Anderson was later taken into custody and the 50 year old is now facing a number of charges related to this incident. Police maintain this is still very much an active and ongoing investigation. We will have the very latest coming up tonight on Eyewitness News starting at 430. In Groton, Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.